students welcome to e learning class today i am going to teach you social science chapter 5 different ways of life the vedic period and charpalatic settlement now with the decline of the harappan culture around 1900 bc a second urbanization took place a new group of nomadic tribe came to the indian subcontinent from the northwest and settled near sapta sindhu The sacred religious book Vedas records them as the Aryans meaning noble ones this period of indian history is therefore known as the vedic period now how the aryans spread in india due to various reasons aryans had to leave their common home in central asia so some of the aryans they migrated from the caspian sea and they settled down in various countries and those who arrived in indian soil were known as indo-aryans the aryans first settled in the region now called the punjab the aryans faced a cultured race with the dravidians the dravidians fought with the aryans at every step but at the end the dravidians had to bow before the superior might of the aryans Now let us know about the social political religion and economic life of the Indo-Aryans social life of the Indo-Aryans the eldest male member was known as Grihapati who exercised full authority over all the members of his family religious ceremonies offering and the recitation of the sacred hymns were done by him In the Vedic period women were given education and there was no parda system child marriage and no polygamy but widowry marriage was allowed food they ate was simple it consists of wheat and barley cake milk fruits and vegetables dress consists of three parts undergarments that is nivi or dhoti a garment that is vasa or shirt and an overgarment that is adivasa turbans were also common in the vedic period society was divided on the basis of varnas means types of occupation there were brahmins who looked after all religious matters kshatriyas who ruled the kingdom vaishyas who were traders cultivators and artisans and shudras who did menial tasks and served all the other three varnas political life of the indo-aryans the rajan was the chief of the tribe he was assisted by the commander in chief of the army known as the senani and the priest or the purohit the rajan was also advised by the two assemblies of elders known as the sabha and the samiti The Rajan also performed sacrifices like the Rajasuya and Ashwamedha horse sacrifice to gain supremacy over other chiefs. Religious life of the Indo-Aryans. In the Vedic period, people worshipped natural forces like Prithvi, Earth, Agni, Fire, Vayu, Wind, Surya, Sun, Jal, Water, Varun, Sky, and Indra, Rain. Later on they started worshiping other gods like Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva. Goddesses like Saraswati and Lakshmi were also worshiped. The Vedas were the main religious book of the Aryans. There are four Vedas: Rig Veda, Sama Veda, Yajur Veda and Atharva Veda. Apart from the Vedas, the religious book of the Aryans include the Brahmanas, the Upanishads, the puranas and the epic the ramayana and the mahabharata economic life of the indo aryans during the vedic period agriculture and animal husbandry was the main occupation besides the above occupation the aryans also had industrial professions like carpenters goldsmith weavers potters and physician all these people worked for the benefit of the people as a whole now let us know about contemporary charcolotic settlement on one hand while the vedic culture flourished in north india on the other hand 
A similar culture existed in East and South India. This settlement is often referred to as contemporary Charcoalitic settlement. The microliths remains of the Stone Age have been excavated in Assam. Cultures dating 700 BC were also found in settlements of West Bengal, Kesarpalli, that is Andhra Pradesh, and Pondicherry. The burial ground found in Tamil Nadu also reflects the contemporary period to Vedic culture of North India. Hope you have learned something from this lesson. That's all for today. Thank you.